So we are in the upper end of the Medhow Valley in the community of Mazama, which is in the north central Cascade Mountains of Washington State. You have the meadows, the mountains, the water. I think it's just heaven on earth. We looked all over eastern Washington, and what really drew us to this area was the multiple opportunities to do outdoor activities all four seasons. The focus is family and being together. I've known Colin since childhood. I built his primary residence, done multiple remodels. Colin had an idea to do more of a traditional craftsman. And talking with Justin, he said, you know, I just really like you to meet an architect that I've been working with. It's doing some really neat things with more of a Northwest modern style. So he introduced me to the Howes website and showed me some of Dan's projects that had been featured on there. And my wife instantly fell in love. And from there, we started going through the website and looking at other projects. And that's really when I reached out to Dan and it's the best decision we ever made. Most of my clients that I work with now um, will create idea books. You know, we go back and forth, and so he'd come up with some ideas. We just worked as a team, Dan, the architect, and Justin, the builder, and myself and Elisa. We were looking for a real specific design that would really give us the ability to have multiple living spaces with a family of five and two dogs. He likes more of a, <laughs> a museum sterile type environment. And I needed to remind Colin that with small children, we just you know need to think about the activity and the wear and tear. That sort of back and forth worked really well uh, through house. So our must-haves for this house was a central nucleus with kitchen, dining, and living all in one. A house that our family could grow into, not just in the next five to 10 years, but in the next generation as well. Comfortable, yet clean, and not overcrowded spaces. The reason folks resonate to the modern houses is because of the, the style, the openness of the floor plans, the openness of the glass and how it relates to nature. Northwest modern, we tend to use a lot of wood, a rusted metal exterior siding. We have steel frames, we have steel columns. Those materials just give it a warmth. I utilize the siding and brake metal around the frameless glass entryway. When you enter the main area of the house from the front entryway, the first thing you're going to see is as you walk up to the front door, you're going to see the backyard before you enter the house. And that was one of the goals that we had, is we wanted you to be able to see through the house. And then with the back side of the house that faces the river, we used headerless windows and really created uh, a lot of glazing on that side to bring in a lot of natural light, provide like a, almost a 180 degree view. We don't have any pictures on the wall. We think of our windows as our pictures. So we have kitchen, living, dining, great room space and orient that towards the river and towards the meadow. My favorite part is anywhere I can just see everything around us. It's just, it's just lovely. Our plan with the kitchen was more of an open space, stay away from a center island, but really have functionality where you can just spin and you're at the next workspace. You're on concrete floors. However, there's nice pipes with water, hot water in those to keep your feet warm. It's very low maintenance and I am all about that. With dogs and kids, there is nothing better. The table's off of Howe's, and then I went with the local glass person that did our shower doors, and I said, I'd like to make this table bigger. He said, well, why don't we put a big sheet of glass on it? And we literally, it doesn't look like it overhangs as much, but it adds 30% more surface area, even though it's only hanging out six inches. Justin, our builder, said, I've got an idea. For your great room area, what if we brought the same wood that's outside, which is a uh, select tight knot cedar, and brought that in and covered the entire ceiling with it? He said, it's going to make the room feel a bit smaller and not feel so vast and open with those white walls and windows and really just bring everything together. And when we did the headerless windows, it made even more sense because it looks like the wood just continues through the glass to the outside. We were able to utilize all natural materials, which we didn't have to paint or treat. We wanted a separate master open door wing. One of the things that we wanted to stay away from, if you walk past the master bedroom, we didn't want someone to be able to just look in and see the bed. So we came up with this idea with this fixed headboard that is actually a centerpiece of furniture in the room that has a nice bench on the back side of it. So as you enter the master bedroom, which is off of our powder room for our guests, you see a nice patina wood wall and you look out sliding glass doors out towards the river and then it wraps around into a nice master bath suite. 
privacy is created by a barn door that slides over, and when that barn door slides over, it opens up a linen closet that serves the master bath. So when you open the bathroom door, you close off the linen closet. So the kids' wing is located on the opposite side of the house and includes two bedrooms, one of which is a double bunk bedroom that the two boys share, and then my daughter's bedroom is off to the side of that. They also have their own full bathroom for them. Our hallway is not a normal hallway. We have a six foot by seven foot Scrabble board on the wall, as well as a four foot by four foot chess board on the wall that all use magnets. Soft seated bench with bookshelves and cupboards for games, where you can usually find us in the winter playing Scrabble or reading books. Being outside here is something that we really enjoy and what's better than being outside than sitting around the fire. So in the backyard, we designed a very large propane fire pit that throws off amazing heat. You can cook a hot dog, you can make a s'more on it, and it works really well. We're in an area that is prone to wildfires. When it came time to design the house, designing it to be fire resistant was a big consideration. We have a concrete slab, so we don't have a crawl space that fire can get in. The exterior metal siding, the metal roofing are fire resistant. I think the misconception in, in using a firewise construction design actually costs more. We found that it actually cost us less. We're using less materials, we have less open spaces, and we feel that we've built the right way for the environment that we're in. The landscaping. If you walk around the exterior, you'll see we've used gabion stone barricades that would be fire stops, as well as lots of stone berms. So we went to excavate the foundation. We exposed all the boulders, so we stockpiled all of the rocks you see here during the construction phase, and then we used them and placed them for the landscape. We worked with a local grower and a local landscaper to really bring all of the local plants and trees that we have in the area in here. Ten years ago, my wife and I were thinking about having another child and we were thinking about the rut that we were in of work and school and weekends and figured that we needed to find a place that was a way to get away from the rest of the world. I love what we have and enjoy it. We're going to live for the whole winter here for probably four to five months and then we might eventually move here full time. When we come here, every time I think, oh, I'm so grateful, and I, I know this is a place we'll come forever, and our kids and their, their kids, I think this is exactly where our family needs to be.